I ask the difficult questions. And as you're talking, I, I'm going to ask you a difficult question, but, I'm but, ready. You, but you know, it's coming from a, a good heart. I have three daughters. I remind everybody all the time. I'm a girl dad. I have Brooke, Brandy, Brittany. They're 30, 32, 34. So uh, I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to ask you this. And I hope you understand. Uh, you are a beautiful lady. Thank do, you. do you think that gets in the way of you being respected? Because uh, I respect you. Do How do you balance being a beautiful lady and, and getting out there? And you, because men are male chauvinists, you know. It, yeah, it, that I'm, is a hard question. Yeah. You know, I don't know if it like, like gets in the way, but it definitely is talked about a lot. Like my looks are always talked about. It's always, oh, you know, she's only there because she's pretty or she's she only has that ride because she's a girl. And it doesn't matter what career you're in. I've talked to many successful women in many different career paths and all women get that. And I this year decided that I'm just going to take that as a compliment. Yes. When people are like, oh, she's only in there because she's pretty. Well, thank you. Thank you for thinking I'm beautiful or I'm pretty or whatever it is, because, you know, I've worked my butt off to get to where I am today. And so has every other driver. They're there because they want it and they worked for it and they deserve it. And just because I'm a girl, just because, you know, I'm blonde, a lot of it, I feel like has to do with my hair color. <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter about looks. It doesn't it doesn't matter. So I've decided this year that I'm going to start taking it as a compliment. Yes. And you should. You should don't be yourself. Have you ever talked to Danica Patrick? You know, I was just going to bring her up. So we're going to have her on here in a couple of weeks. So there was um, I don't know if it was a documentary or what it was, but she was getting interviewed and someone in this documentary series and someone was like, you know, what's it like, like being looked at as a sex symbol or some, something along the lines of that. And she, I don't know word for word what she said, but it was something like, you know, she's proud to be looked at as those things because you can be sexy, you can be nurturing, you can be, you can be strong, you can be driven, you can be all of those things. So you should be proud to be all of those things. Women can be nurturing. We can be beautiful. We can be successful. It just because, you know, we want to be driven in a certain industry doesn't mean we can't do other things outside of it, like be a mother or get married or, you know, be into things like modeling. I, you know, my brother's a model. I'm not the model. I wish I, I could do that. Oh, but, come on. <laughs> you can be a model. <laughs> <laughs> Too short. <laughs> but you can do you can do all of those things. And she said that. And when I was younger, I heard her say those things. And I was so scared to be myself. It was right when I was getting into the Arca series. And I was being told from all different directions, like, you need to act this way. You can't dress this way. You need to do this or else you're not going to get taken seriously. And that messed with me for years. Mm -hmm. And this is my year, Kenny, this is my year because I am finally, I'm sick of it. I'm going to be myself. I, I like to be girly. I like to, you know, I'm excited that I'm married now. I'm a married woman. I feel very womanly. And I want to embrace that. And I can embrace that. And after seeing Danica talk about that, it just has inspired me more and more to truly be myself and to not care what other people think. They're, they're going to like me or they're not going to like me. And I should just be myself. 